I've found over the past few years that proper bandaging of the foot is probably one of the biggest misconceptions there is among horsemen, veterinarians, and farriers. There are many, many ways to put a bandage on a foot, and most of them cause a multitude of problems. The biggest fallacy is being the use of a cotton or some type of a cushion device that falls between the cornea band and the bandage material. Following, we're going to show a very economical, cost-effective, surefire way to bandage your foot every single time with practically no risk whatsoever to the functions of the foot and a bandage that will stay on regardless of who puts it on as long as they follow a few basic fundamentals. Remembering, when we put a, a bandage on a foot, we're not attaching the bandage to the hoof itself. If you tape a bandage to a foot using adhesive tape such as Elasticon, duct tape, electrical tape, whatever, and you apply it to the foot in such a fashion that the glue bond itself is what holds your bandage in place, that works great for a time or two. If you consistently wrap tape around a foot, being a young horse, a growing horse, or a mature horse, you will constrict the size of that foot in a very short time. Six to eight weeks of constant taping will reduce a foot approximately two shoe sizes. Well, this restriction does not respond to the hinge shoe as favorably as does a foot that would be two shoe sizes smaller to start with. It's very difficult to return a, a foot who has been narrowed due to taping back to its normal uh, anatomical appearance. So I prefer never to put tape directly to a horse's foot if it's going to go around the foot. So we have a foot that we want to put medication in the sole. We want to put it on the wall. He's got an injury. We want to protect it, whatever it may be. Following surgery, this is the basic bandage that we always apply. I prefer to use the Army-Navy bandage, which now have become almost obsolete. We cannot find them anymore. But there are bandages that are similar in nature. You want to cut a bandage that will be long enough to go down the pastern, across the bottom of the foot, and back up the pastern. I want to use the conformation of the pastern being smaller than the foot to secure the bandage. This way I do not have to put anything tight around the foot. So this medication is applied to the foot. This bandage material is laid down the back, across the foot, under the front, and use cling to secure it. Or you can just use vet wrap. Making sure that there is always cotton and plenty of it between your vet wrap, your tape, or whatever you're using on the outside and the coronary band. Most of the pressure will be put securing it around the pasture. Then you develop the bandage around the foot, securing the corners, pulling the ends in, making a nice snug booty, so to speak. Once this is done, before the foot set down, cover the bottom with duct tape. Duct tape will almost make the bandage impervious, makes it wear longer, gives it some shape. It's very economical. You can find it almost anywhere. And now you have a foot that can, can be turned out. This horse can go out for limited exercise. He can wear this bandage three or four days at a time. You don't have to worry about cutting circulation to the coronary band. It's nice and neat. It's cost effective. A very simple cost effective bandage. Following surgery, if I don't want to have anything at all getting in the top of the bandage, such as dust, dirt, sawdust, shavings, straw, then I will simply put a standing bandage on the animal, let it come down to join the foot bandage, tie them together. Now you have secured the foot from foreign debris. You've got a nice backup because now the bandages are tied together. This foot bandage is now supported by the hinge effect or the tie-in effect of the, of the standing bandage.